What is current? Current is the amount of electrical charge passing a point in the circuit per second. The unit of current is the ampere. Sometimes it's called an amp. If we were to compare the flow of current in a wire to the flow of water in a pipe, we would say that it's the amount of water flowing in the pipe, let's say in liters per second. How do we go about changing current? We can't change current directly in the simple circuit. To change current, we must either change voltage or resistance. If we increase the voltage, the current will increase. So we can say current is directly proportional to voltage. If we increase the resistance, current will decrease. So we can say that current is inversely proportional to resistance. Let's do a practical example of varying current. Current flows in a closed loop around this circuit, through the resistor, through the lamp, and back to the battery. In order to measure the current, we'll have to break open the circuit and insert the ammeter in such a way that the current will flow through the meter. We can make an opening in front of the lamp by selecting this wire and pressing delete. To add an ammeter, go to the meters tab and select the first meter on the left, the one with the A, the ammeter. We'll drag that out and put it here. It's a little bit small. So I'm going to go to the numeric keypad and press on plus four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's a little bit bigger and easier to connect to. Then I'm going to put a wire from the 20 ohm resistor to the bottom connector on the ammeter to the negative one here and snap that on. And then I'll put another one from the positive connector of the ammeter to the bulb. Okay, and we see that the bulb is at the same brightness as it was but now we have 223 milliamps flowing through the meter, which is equal to be about 0.223 amps. Let's see what happens when we change the value of this resistor. I'm going to go to this 20 ohm resistor, right click on it, and bring up the properties dialog, and we're going to double the value of the resistor. So we'll go from 20 to 40, I'll click OK and you can see now that the current drops and that the bulb gets a lot dimmer. Now the current didn't drop in half. Uh, you would think since we doubled the resistance we should get half the current. The reason that it didn't half is because the bulb itself has resistance so we didn't half the total resistance of the circuit. But we can see that as resistance goes up, current goes down.